Please state your name for the folks at home. Uh, Bridger Weiniger? Mm-hmm, that's right. Are you, you had trouble saying your own name? What the hell's wrong? <laughs> Bridger Weiniger. Now, tell the folks where you work, Bridger. Uh, the Late Late Show? Late Late Show. Late Late Show with anyone I would know? Craig Ferguson. That's right, Bridger. <laughs> now, Bridger, you're dressed up in a costume this evening, which I suspect is making you a little uncomfortable. Is that true? Oh, uh, yes. A any, any idea why you may be dressed in that costume, Bridger? Uh, no. <laughs> Bridger, what's your position here at the show? Um, I'm a production assistant. Production assistant, you say? <laughs> Bridger, did you go and fetch anyone's car recently from anyone's house? Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> Bridger, when you were fetching that car from someone, did you crash that uh -oh. car? <laughs> Guess what, Bridger? What? I today got the estimate on the repair bill on that car. <laughs> so you better get used to this costume, buddy. <laughs> I'm only kidding, pal. It's all right. Don't don't worry about it. It's it's fine. I'm sorry. Nah, it's all right. really, really, it's fine. I I didn't like that car anyway. <laughs> Nice car. <laughs> it, it was a nice car. It was, was a very nice car. No piece of crap. <laughs> but the main thing is, we've moved past it. I hope so. <laughs> it's just a joke. He, he, it's not a joke. He did crash my car. <laughs> but this is actually what he wears. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Late Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Progressive. Visit Progressive.com today. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. Excellent work, everybody. <laughs> you will all receive free chicken. <laughs> I bribe the audience with free chicken. <laughs> it's old. <laughs> Their enthusiasm will lead to food poisoning later. <laughs> I know that enthusiasm has sometimes made me feel sick. I don't really know where I'm going with this. <laughs> However, it's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, indeed. It is. It is. It's, a, it's a great day. It's Friday, of course. Hooray. I love Friday. Ooh, Friday. And also... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pixelate that, man. It's a great day for America's favorite gosh darn couple, Kanye West and Kim Kardashian. <laughs> And that, they're both, apparently they're both selling their houses and they're moving in together. Isn't that adorable? Oh. Apparently they look, yeah, oh, oh, you didn't know? Oh, yeah. What's wrong with you? Don't you have websites? <laughs> apparently they're looking for a house with two garages. One for his Lamborghini, another one for her ass. <laughs> because... 
you start the joke with a Kardashian ass joke? Yep. <laughs> Uh, you know that J.C. Penney has an ad in the new catalogue. This is true. I always go through the uh, catalogue, the J.C. Penney catalogue, looking for interesting items. And <laughs> they've got a, 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 a feature, a pair of uh, gay dads. And I'm like, oh, that's good. Some people were shocked by the ad, especially the guys' wives. They're like, what the hell? <laughs> you don't go up there to go fishing. <laughs> Big movie opening this weekend, I'm very excited about. <laughs> I couldn't give a rat's ass. But it's a, no, it's a big movie. It's a Snow White and the Huntsman. Now, what they're doing, the Hollywood's taking a beloved children's story and turned it into another kind of Twilight thing. You know, it's a, if they really want to make m m money on this movie, they should call it uh, Snow White and the Avengers. That's what you want. <laughs> You got, a, you got a poster for the movie? There you are, Snow White and the Huntsman. Snow White is the girl from Twilight. You know, the angry stoned girl? Uh, <laughs> she's gotta be high, because she didn't choose Jacob. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Twilight and the Hunger Games are both very successful movies, and they both have plucky young female leads. So this movie tries to turn Snow White into a beautiful young badass. That doesn't make sense. You can't turn Snow White into a badass. It's, it's, like turning, it's like turning Mel Gibson into a rabbi. That's what that's like. It's like, uh, Jeff, Jeff, what's it like? It's like... It's like uh, turning Regis Philbin into a mute. Okay, all right. It's like, uh, it's like turning Michael Vick into a dog sitter. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like turning Mitt Romney into not a robot. <laughs> You saying Mitt Romney's a robot? Oh yes, I am. Can, can you tell? Yeah, he's the Romney Bot Five Thousand. Is, is that a real thing? Yeah, it's true. All that money comes right out of his ass. So, so he's kind of like an ATM. He's got an ATM in his ass. That's right. Yeah. That that that's useful. Yeah, I've got one as well, but it's not my ass. Yeah, all right, that's enough. You know, the, I'm talking about the movie. The uh, what was I talking about? Snow White and the Huntsman. Yeah, the movie has uh, uh, Charlize Theron as the evil queen, and every morning she speaks into the mirror. She's like, "Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all?" <laughs> That's from the movie. And she's a person willing to commit murder just to keep a more youthful appearance. And we have a name for that type of person in Los Angeles. It's called everyone. <laughs> Oh, I'd do it. <laughs> if I had an appearance that I wanted to keep. I talk to my mirror every morning. When I'm naked, I'm like, mirror, mirror on the wall. Tell me, where are my balls? <laughs> and the mirror says, on the floor. I'm like, oh, I, I thought I was standing on hamsters. <laughs> Anyway, what? Then the movie, uh, the, yeah, the movie, the, the queen banishes Snow White because of her beauty, but the dwarves help Snow White because they are smitten by that very same beauty, which teaches kids an important lesson. Nothing matters except for your looks. <laughs> TBS cares. Uh, <laughs> the Hollywood studios love making movies out of the old fairy tales because uh, these are stories connected to our history and because they're in the public domain so they don't have to pay anyone for the film rights. Craig, are you saying that Hollywood will do anything to avoid giving people money? Look. Last year they made a, a teenage version of Red Riding Hood. I never liked that story anyway. I get sad when the wolf eats the grandmother because I was raised by a pack of wild grandmothers. <laughs> and by pack I mean one and by wild I mean she enjoyed knitting. <laughs> but people love fairy tales and Hollywood wants a big summer blockbuster. Uh, and it makes sense you get the big summer fairy tale movies. Now the, the concept of the big summer blockbuster did not exist until Jaws in 1975. I'm surprised no one's combined Jaws with fairy tale. Snow White and the... Seven Sharks. Okay, not bad. <laughs> Little Red Riding Chum. Sleeping Foodie. 
Okay. <laughs> I th no, they did combine Jaws with a fairy tale. It's not the Snow White movie a couple of months ago. Mirror, mirror. That had Julia Roberts in it. So that's uh, Snow White and kind of Jaws. You got a poster for that movie? There you are. Look at that. <laughs> You're gonna need a bigger apple. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you got any other movies that could make into uh, uh, you know, uh, fairy tales into movies? Oh, well, what about uh, what about Goldilocks and the Three Bears? Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Yeah. You could use CGI for the bears, or just cast uh, three Kardashians. <laughs> 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 Big one, small one. <laughs> I'd like to see a movie about old Mother Hubbard, you know, in a world where the cupboard is bare. <laughs> One old mother fetches her dog a bone. But you could do that, because then they could put Samuel Jackson in the movie so he could say, you're one mean Mother Hubbard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, that's not cussing. <laughs> Are you going to go see that movie then this weekend? Oh, I'm running right out this year. <laughs> Well, what else are you going to go and see then? What movies have you seen you like recently? Oh, I, I can't really mention those on the air. <laughs> You're talking gay robot porn movies? Yeah, sex robot movies, mate. Sex robot yeah. movies? Yeah. What, what sex robot movies have you seen? One called C3PO. <laughs> So you see right. three, three, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look, there's three of them. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. oh what, are, what are they doing? Oh, yeah, no, that's terrible. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably get in trouble for that, I think. Yeah. And he's on the phone. Yeah. We're in trouble. Want to do the commercial? I'd love to. Come on, then. Tonight's program is brought to you by the movie event of the summer, the story of a man and his forbidden lust for fairy tale. Craig Ferguson is the goose that laid the golden eggs. <laughs> Which tonight is brought to you by uh, Jeff. Who's bringing the show to uh, us tonight? Uh, by Standing on Hamsters. <laughs> it's a new romantic uh, miniseries on the Lifetime Channel, isn't it? Uh, Standing on Hamsters about a woman who rides hamsters across 18th century Canada <laughs> <laughs> and, and finds true love. Right, Jeff? That's right. Starring, starring Meredith Baxter Burney. <laughs> As one of the hamsters. <laughs> so you've seen it. I'm in it. <laughs> I play the rough and tumble Mountie. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Yeah, was I too tough on Bridger with the, the grass skirt and the coconut bra? Oh, no, no. I, I quite like that. <laughs> Which tells me I probably was too tough. <laughs> yeah, you know. He did crash my car. That's true. Yeah, well, it's true, man. Oh, man. Yeah, no, he, he, the car's off. Tootsie Fruitsie. <laughs> he is so screwed. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Anyway, what are you going to do? Make him dress in a grass skirt and a coconut bra. <laughs> well, you know, because he said, he said to me, he said, I'll pay for it. I'm like, oh, you don't have to pay for How much? Uh, <laughs> so, you, know, you don't have to pay for it. You can pay for it in a different way, Bridger. A right? <laughs> poor kid was scared out of his mind, but now he, I've turned that fear into hatred of me. <laughs> oh, I think we've all learned something. Sounds kind of like our relationship. What, I used to be afraid of you and now I hate you? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, all right. Uh, it's time for the emails. Email. All right. Uh, what's the... Uh, what time is it? Yeah, you know. Uh, all right. Uh, this is from Summer in Abilene, Texas. You ever been to Abilene, Texas? Oh, yeah. I love Abilene, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, what do you do there? Yeah, like there? just hang out, roast wieners. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, my family is going camping next week and I was wondering if you have any advice on how to defend yourself if attacked by a bear or a cougar. <laughs> I 
I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. That's actually how you died, wasn't it? Bear attack? Yeah, I was attacked by a bear wearing a hockey mask. <laughs> That's the bears you've got to look out for. They're the, they're the dangerous ones. <laughs> this is from Regina. <laughs> In Brooklyn, New York, Regina. I bet nobody's ever made a funny comment about her name. <laughs> Regina. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm. Anyway, I'd change my name if it was Regina. Would I would just flat out change it to Vagina. <laughs> and then, then you, they would go, oh, your name sounds... Oh, it is Vagina. Yes. Uh, dear Craig and Jeff, is it wrong to keep seeing someone just because they're a season ticket holder with really great seats? Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> This is from Mark in Arvada in Colorado. You ever been a... Uh... Oh, yeah. Dear Craig and Jeff, my son is leaving college in the fall. What should I do with his room? Or oh, leaving for college in the fall. What should I do with his room? Pleasure dungeon? <laughs> this is from Cynthia in Tulsa, Oklahoma. You ever been in Tulsa? Sure. <laughs> this is from uh, Scott in Montgomery, Alabama. Now, don't forget... Oh, look, look at it. Scott's put a picture of a flamingo on his... <laughs> Now, Jeff and I hate flamingos. We, I know, we've heard all of your reasoning for how we should love and embrace flamingos, and we don't like them, right, Jeff? Oh, that's correct. We don't like them. We went up to the Ellie Zoo, we smelled the flamingos, they stink. And why do they stink, Jeff? Because they, they pee on their legs. They, the, they pee on their own legs to keep cool. Well, let me tell you something, flamingos, and anyone else who's thinking of doing this, peeing yourself is not cool. <laughs> That is not cool, right, Jeff? That's right. It, it makes you smell weird. <laughs> now, look, if you can't help it, that's another thing. But these flamingos have got excellent bowel control. <laughs> they just do it for the hell of it. Right, Jeff? This is a public service announcement was brought to you by Vagina Ferguson. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. First guest this evening is an actor and a comedian. Has that ever been done before? <laughs> He's appearing at the Second City in Chicago uh, on June the 14th. He is an American comedy treasure. He is, of course, Jeff Garland, everybody. Jeff Garland. An American comedy An American treasure. comedy treasure. That is how I describe you, and also... And I started in Sweden, ironically. Did you really? Have you ever been to Sweden? No. Oh, Sweden's <laughs> awesome. You want to try it? It's a very big comedy area. Yes. You are really in that chair rather gigantic. <laughs> I imagine that when you have people that are quite short, because I'm 6'1", right. that it must be almost ridiculous. It's crazy. Yeah. I, mean, I Actually, sometimes when very small people are here... Hold on, I'll show you. I'll keep some... Here. Are you a fan of Her Majesty the Queen? Uh, she and I used to play hockey together. Yeah, really? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, but I usually keep a... Yeah, oh, yeah, here it is. When uh, short people are here, I call this the Tom Cruise stool. Because, uh... <laughs> yeah, put it there. And then little people can put their little legs on it. And it's... They're fine. Well, I'll tell you what. Big people like it, too. Well, you know, I'm happy for you. I, think I am great. a big fan of the leg uh, relaxer. Have you ever tried uh, a massage chair? Yeah, the way you say it is very funny. <laughs> Have I ever tried a massage chair? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I've been on a massage chair. They make it. They're they're re they're really good now. Oh, they're good now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because it's always been that sort of rolling. Yeah. It's yeah. almost like you think there's like those rollers, like from dough. Right. Like going. That's what it, it felt like. Right. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's like having a, a kid sit behind you on the airplane. That's yeah. what it felt like, right? Yeah, yes. Right. Kicking. Yeah. Yes, this is yeah. Kind of, yeah, yeah. But now I got you know Chelsea Handler. Do I know she's Chelsea Handler? Beautiful, yeah. beautiful woman. Mm -hmm. She's got her own show. Very mm -hmm. funny. Mm -hmm. She, I, for my birthday, she got me a massage chair. That is fantastic. I know. It's like, wow. My so I know I have my to birthday's get... Tuesday. <laughs> but I don't want one. What do you want, then, for your birthday? I got you a book. I've got you a book. Uh, <laughs> and you wrote it. And by the way, what? let me tell you something. If what? you bought me a copy of my book, I'd be thrilled because somebody would be buying my book. <laughs> How much is it? I don't even know. Oh, well, let me... <laughs> 
I that really do. It's got to have a price. Although, when I'm in, like, let's say I'm in a Barnes and Noble, yeah. and someone comes up to me and says they dig me, I will buy them a copy of my book in the store every time. <laughs> so if you see me in a Barnes and Noble and you want a copy of my book, I will buy it for you right but there. You, but you have to say, I dig you. That's the secret words, right? I dig you. As of tonight, yes. Yeah, all right, all right. So from now on, it's a big bowl of I dig you. Yeah, yeah. You have to come and say, you have to say like this, man, I dig you, and do that with your head. Yeah, you have to do and that, then, man, I dig you, and you're like, you got a free book there, mister. <laughs> yes. That's exactly what's, the, what's the book about? The book is about me trying to lose weight and go green while making Curb Your Enthusiasm. How, how'd it work out? Uh, <laughs> I mean, hey, I, hey, 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 don't I, give away the end. <laughs> <laughs> no, in all sincerity, I know a lot more now about being green, per se. I'm not a, a nut, but I'm thoughtful. That's right. all it is, being That's thoughtful. All, that, that, I, that saves the environment right there. It's a good thing, being right. thoughtful. And then... Um, Do you drive one of them uh, hybrid cars? I actually drive a Nissan Leaf, which is an electric car. Whoa, look at Having you. Having nothing to do with the book. I just got it. I thought it was cool. I like that, it. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I used to drive a cool car. Now it's all beat up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right! Yeah. The guy got in the thing with a thing. Yeah, oh, yeah, he did. I gotta tell you, what? I had some chicken in my dressing room. Delicious. <laughs> that's very kind of you, don't you? Yeah, it wasn't for you, man. Uh, I, uh... Oh, that was for the audience? Yeah, yeah it was for the audience. Sorry, yeah. he's left there. I... All right, well, you, I wouldn't make any plans for the yeah, next couple of days. I won't. Then. Uh, uh... That's my secret to losing weight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever had the food poison I had at recently? Oh, oh. yes. I once got fish in Oklahoma City. That's a long night. Enough said. Good night, everybody. Yeah. It was a long night, and I had to drive. I was driving back to LA the next day. That was delayed. <laughs> it was not. I'm what laughing you, what, now, but what were you doing in Oklahoma? A benefit. I do. I do. You know, I do a lot of benefits. Really? Yeah. For, for who? That one was for uh, Oklahomans. The, uh, <laughs> it was primarily attended by Oklahomans. Well, that, that, that people didn't fly in to go to Oklahoma City. Uh, a lot of people from Norway. Yeah, to yeah. Stop by. What reason do the Garland in Oklahoma? Um, uh, yeah, yeah. That's, what, that's what we're off to. Um, no, I do. I do. Uh, you know, I do. We do a lot of stand up, right? You still do a lot, do a lot of As a matter of fact, the show I'm doing uh, uh, next. Okay, so Tuesday is my 50th birthday. It was my 50th birthday. Yeah. Uh, like, happy birthday. Thank you. Um, I'm, I'm older than you, man. You are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? Well, you don't look it. <laughs> you're a handsome man. Well, yeah, you could be handsome right into your 80s. You know? I mean, uh, you can slide into your 80s, but nobody's pulled it off into the 90s yet. <laughs> but really, it, into your 80s, you can be Stud Johnson. But Stud once, Johnson? But, hey, wait a minute. Wait, that's if you live in Norway. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, 90s, uh, no, you're not going to, you know. You're not going to. So, well, you might. Clint yeah. Eastwood, when he gets to 90, he's going to look awesome. Yeah, he's going to be Clint Eastwood. Sean, Sean Connery. He, he'll, yeah. be, he'll be 90. I saw a shot picture of Sean Connery recently. He's a yeah. handsome man. He's handsome, and he's like yeah. 88. Yeah. He's not really. <laughs> he's pretty old, he's though. He's pretty old, though. He's like, yeah, i get <laughs> Still talks like Sean Connery, just a little bit slow. But how, how weird would it be if, though, when he got older, he just stopped talking like Sean Connery? Hey, how are you, Craig? <laughs> hey! I grew Sean, out of it! Who I, knew? I grew out of the voice! I grew out of it! <laughs> it just, I didn't think it would happen. Yeah, it happened. It happened. And they can't ask me to do James Bond anymore. I just uh, can't do it. You can't do it. He's going up for a lot of parts that I'm going up for. <laughs> so it's going to be your birthday, though. Yeah, it's going to be my you birthday. Freak, I was freaked out before I was 50. Oh, really? Yeah, it freaked me out. Well, I, you know, I gotta tell you, I'm so crazy good with it. Now, would I prefer to be 20? Hell yes. But you know what? At 50, I'm exactly the person that I want to be. So I'm good. I, I'd quite like my penis to be bigger. <laughs> well, I wish that for you. <laughs> and I hope that happens at some point in the future. You, no one... It's no happening one, now. You really enjoy my conversation. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I said, I said to Peter LaSalle, we were talking about award shows, and I said, you'd be great to host an award show. Mm. He said, no, he'd talk about his penis constantly. Yeah, absolutely. So you'd be I mean, on this the is Emmys. a good award, but come on! Yeah, yeah. No, so, but I think you'd be great, because most times I, I end up going to the Emmys, it's terrible. Yeah, well, I, I don't know. You'd be go fantastic. I, luckily enough, I'm not invited, so it's uh, all right. <laughs> 
Well. Hey, uh, we're, we're out of time, so uh, that's, that's a great book. And uh, do you want to uh, do it? See, this is why I hate these shows. Why? Because we should just be sitting and talking. The whole show should be me. <laughs> and that's no offense to uh, what's, what's her name is coming next, uh, Sonia Wal Walger? Mm hmm. I love her. She yeah, I know. I've told her before. Yeah, I know. She's awesome. Yes. She's gorgeous and she's great. But, you know, she can come out at the end. The whole night, <laughs> the whole night should just be you and I talking. That's it. But why don't we do a show where it's just you and me talking? But no, no, I can't do it tonight. I've got no, no, to but another it. night, just me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, because I got so many stories. I had a great story I was going to tell. Well, uh, don't tell it now. No, Save it for the big no, Jeff next, Garland show. Next time, it, right. it's about this. No, we'll do we'll yeah, do a show, okay. the Jeff Garland special, and okay. and, and it, it, it'll be like a train. You know, the <laughs> Jeff Garland special. The Jeff Garland special. Like, a, what kind of a train would it be like, Jeff? Well, like a like a steam train. Well, like a steam train. And like where a, would that where would that steam train go, Jeff? To, to Cleveland. Cleveland. Probably. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'll tell you something. Have you ever been on a steam steam train to Cleveland? Kinda. Fantastic. <laughs> No, let's do that. Let's All right, do you want a mouth organ, awkward pause, or a big cash prize? Uh, I will do the big cash prize. What time is it, Johnny Damon? Time for the big cash prize. <laughs> Two hours to win, You can either... Whoa, don't finger the bag yet. Two ways to win. You can either uh, answer a question or you can guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I imagine a box in my head. I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in it. You try and imagine what's in it. If you're right, great. If you're wrong, no Jeff Garland special. Oh, no, I'm not even playing then. Okay. <laughs> you want to do a question then? I'll do a, I'll do a question, but th will that cancel the Jeff Garland special? No, 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 okay, no. Only question. if you get the box guess wrong. No, let's do a question. All right then. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's, a, it's a question. I'm doing uh, my listening pose. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. According to scientists... Reykjavik, which I've played many times. Well, of ahead. course, yeah. I'm, I'm huge, Big comedy I'm town. Big comedy town. I'm huge town. there. <laughs> I play at two in the morning when it's bright. Go. According to scientists, how many times per day do male desert rats copulate? According to scientists, how many times per day do male desert rats copulate? Is it C, 150 times a day? <laughs> this has so much to do with the country that we were speaking of. C. Is the correct answer on it, man? Dave Ray from the Jack Collins Special. We'll let you know. on the great show Common Law, which is fr on Fridays on the USA Network. Please welcome the very attractive Sonia Walger, everybody. Sonia Walger. Hi, Sonia. Hi. You look great. I mean, Thank really, you. really lovely. Thank quite you. Quite elegant, so but... Much. You've lost nothing in your sexiness by being so elegant. <laughs> Thank it's you so true. much. You took the three pieces. Yeah, you know, this is like men's spanks. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Holds it all in. I'm going to start wearing that. Yes. Yeah, but a that's little... a waistcoat where we come from. It's a waistcoat, it's yeah. Called something where, else what here. part of England are you from? Again? London. London, yes, that's terribly nice. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you become a big fan of the Downton Abbey? Everybody over there is watching Downton Abbey. I, I am a fan. I was a bigger fan of season one. Season two. I, I to say I'm with you I'm on this. A little bit of a soap. Yeah. I know, because season one I was like, oh, it's terribly, terribly unfortunate. Or oh, the Turkish gentleman <laughs> died in the lady's bed and all that kind of stuff. That and was then the season two, I'm like, oh shut up. Season yeah. two, every, they're just eavesdropping all the time. They like, just walk in the room. Yeah, you know, people are always like Just knock. Mm -hmm. Yes. That. Yeah. Too much of that. Do you uh, eavesdrop a lot? Do you listen to people? Do you have a telescope spying your neighbours or anything like that? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you do. <laughs> do you? Are you I mean 
Like, sexually, does that excite you, watching other people uh, having sex <laughs> and they, they don't know that you're watching? I'm definitely going to say yes on national television. Yeah. yeah. No, it doesn't. Really? No. no, I, no but neither. if I see an iPhone lying around unattended, yeah. I might look at a text. <laughs> that, see, that's a very male-female thing, because males like to see their porn, women like to read <laughs> their porn. I think that's true. Yeah, but I didn't say a sext, I just meant I'm nosy. I, like, will... But that's I what I'm saying. Have a look. Yes. Yeah, no, if it's sexy written down, like, men are like, well, where's the pictures? Where's the pictures? <laughs> You'd be like, where's the, where's the messages of where's sextiness? Where's the writing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, how are things going on The Common Law, then? It's pretty fun. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a nice show. We shoot Where'd, New Orleans, which is... New Orleans? That's yes. right. It's great down yes. there. Yeah. It's amazing. It's it's rough to be an actress trying to shoot in New Orleans because all the food is deep fried. Ah, everything, yes. even the salad. Yes. Everything. <laughs> it's just deep fried you with a side of food down gut, there. Yeah. duck and some blue cheese. It's, that, anyway, that's what it is. Yeah, it sounds good. <laughs> Have good. you ever been? Emerald Agassi's got a place down there. Yeah, You've he's got several. That? Yeah, oh, it's great. He's the Bam guy. Is he? Yeah, he comes around and goes, BAM, on your food. Uh, <laughs> Does it taste better? I, I don't know. It's, it costs more. Yeah. <laughs> once, once he bams your food, it's like an extra 50 bucks. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Like, I bammed it. It's 50 bucks. Uh, so, are you a cookie person? Do you... Uh, I love it. Do you, are you one yeah, of I'm a real foodie. I love it, and I love cooking, and I love making food. Any particular style of cooking you enjoy? You know, pretty much European, Moroccan, Frenchy. Well, I like the couscous all and of such. Love yeah. That tagine. Oh, very mm. nice. Yeah. You know, are you spicy then? Do you like spicy food? A little food? bit, a little mm. bit. But I'm half Argentine, you see, so I'm, I'm all about my meat. Oh. My dad's from Argentina. Really? Yes. Uh, have you ever been down there, Terry? Many times. Just right. was there at Christmas. Really? Yeah. It sounds very exciting, Argentina. It sounds I'd love very to go there. exciting. Yeah, it's an interesting mix to be half English, half Argentine. I imagine easier now than it was a few years ago. Yes. Yeah. I used to go to school and have the, um, have them, uh, we'd call them the Falklands in the morning and then we'd call them the Malvinas in the afternoon. Oh, really? Yes, that no, was the only way around. That was the way you got around yeah. it. Oh, yeah, that's a bit tricky. So, uh, there you are. Now, you're doing the, uh, <laughs> did you watch Dancing with the Stars last week? Wasn't that awesome? The, uh... Amazing. <laughs> I don't watch it. I don't I, watch any I, reality TV. You don't watch any real. I watch the Mythbusters, but I don't think that's reality TV. I think that's... <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> it's not. It's science. It's science TV. It's a kind it? of like light-hearted science program, yeah. Do you enjoy the science? I love the science. I like the um, David Attenborough. Oh, thingies. natural history. Yeah, yes, I love him. The glaciers and the, the penguins. Yeah, yeah, the... On board, we see the quiet little duck going. Yeah, he exactly. speaks quietly. Yes, yeah. yes. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Have you ever been to the Antarctic? No, not yet. Have you? No, it's always been a dream of mine. Has it? <laughs> yeah, actually, I'd quite like to go there. Oh. Would you like to go there, that yeah. vast expanse of wilderness? It'd Not be like doing the monologue. <laughs> 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 no, I, I, I do like that. So are you in New Orleans uh, for good now, or just no, where you shoot? New Orleans, just where we shoot the show, and then we go to vast uh, lengths and expense to make it look like Los Angeles, which is such a terrible waste of time, because right. it's set in L.A., the show. So, yeah, we have to hide all the beautiful architecture and fight basically the ugliest corners of New Orleans. Is right, yeah, shoot, yeah. Is well, that, we if, for show. anywhere to look like L.A., find the crappiest part of your own town, and there you are. There you are. Voila, Done. L.A. Yeah, yeah so yeah, anytime no, there's, true. like, a pretty balcony, we're like, yeah, frame it out. Just, yeah. yeah so that no, no, I hear you. We don't that. get any of that. But are you still living in London, then? Uh, I'm, no, I live in L.A. I live here, but I was just in London last week because it was my mum's birthday. Oh, well, Same day as yours, it turns out. 17th of May? May 17th. Oh, She's yeah. your biggest fan, I'm going to put, say, roughly, but she is. How, <laughs> she is. How big is she? Pretty big. Yeah, all right. Not in that way, but right. a pretty big fan. Oh, right. So what she part of London does she live in? Fulham. I like Fulham. I used Do to you? spend a little bit of time down in Fulham, actually. Did you? Yeah, I knew a girl in Fulham. <laughs> there aren't many. Which one? Oh, there was one or two. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I used to spend a little bit of time in Fulham and Chelsea, that area. Yeah. yeah. It's nice, that area. It's lovely. I was just there this weekend, as mm -hmm. I say, for her birthday. And because it's the Olympics and the Jubilee, mm. London is intense. Very right now. busy right now. Full of flags and frantic people. It's like holding San flags. Francisco during gay pride. <laughs> yeah, like, oh. And yeah. they've dug up all the roads. Talk about traffic. Why? Terrible roads. Because they're prepping for the Olympics. For the Olympics, for yeah. the Olympics. Are you a sports fan? Are you going to go? No, nothing. You don't like sports? <laughs> not even the ribbon-waving thing? Tennis. Tennis? That's not a sport. It barely counts as a sport. Yeah, I, I look forward to your... Tootsie Fruitsie. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> 
It's a joke. I love tennis. Tennis is great, especially when it's on CBS. I, I <laughs> you, you like tennis, really? I really do. My little brother is a sports journalist. He's just left uh, university, and he's just got his sports journalism... Degree? No, because oh. you can't do that at university. <laughs> but he's just got his press pass to the Olympics? all areas. Olympics. It's like the golden ticket. Yeah, that's pretty spectacular. It's pretty yeah. amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Do you think he, I, you'd lend that to me? I'm... <laughs> I'd quite like to go and to see you. some Olympic events. I think it'd be good. I am interested in, in it as, a, as an event. I like the rags to riches of it. I like the girl who punched her way to victory from the slums in Nicaragua. I like those backstories. <laughs> I just, so you I just made that up, yes. didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like that, that actually has never happened. Uh, <laughs> If you dug, dug deep enough, you'd probably sure, find yeah, that I'm story sure. yeah, no, somewhere. Well, that's a heartwarming <laughs> story. No, but that's what I like is the heartwarming yeah, story. Yeah, you know what I like? I like the opening ceremony until yes. the, you know, the weird-looking kid wastes it. <laughs> like the camera pans over and all these beautiful kids, and then there's a weird-looking kid going, waving the flag too, because I always think I'd be that kid. <laughs> And then it takes me out of the whole thing. But you know when China just did the last ones and they did that amazing closing ceremony? Yeah. And then at the end, they do the handover where, you know, the Eng it says that England's going to do the next one. Right. And China's just used, I don't know, a million people to do this unbelievable ceremony and gymnasts exploding and the whole deal. <laughs> and, then, and then comes along a London bus yeah. that's about this big. Yeah. And the last winner of Dancing with the Stars or something <laughs> stands on the top. All right, you got an Olympic torch. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. It was one of the See you in four years. It was so humiliating. Yeah, it was like, no. really, that's the best we've got. It's a woman in a leotard and a pair of Spanx. I mean, it was yeah, yeah, just yeah. Hey, Don't bad. knock it. That's my life right there. <laughs> All right, listen, we're out of time. What do you fancy? A mouth organ, awkward pause, or the big cash prize? Big cash prize. What time is it, Charles Davids? It's time for the big cash prize. You can either answer a question or you can guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I imagine a box in my head. I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in it. Uh, you try and guess. If you're right, Jeff will tell us. If you're wrong, something awful will happen to you. Yikes. Or you can answer a question. Answer the question. Okay, then fine. Do it. Ah! <laughs> Bite me. All right. <laughs> We're going through a bad period. Um, all right. Um... Iceland is in the North Atlantic, its capital city is Reykjavik. The US Congress approved the official boundaries of the state of Ohio in 1803. How many years later did Ohio become a state? Was it two years later, five years later, 25 years later, or 150 years later? I didn't even understand that. I didn't I understand the question. <laughs> <laughs> but I tried to look intelligent. Well, I'll, you tell you what, I'll do it. Just give Ohio me became a state. When did Congress say, okay, we formally approve your statehood? Was it 150 years later? <laughs> yes. yes. Yes, it, it was! was. Yeah. $50 American dollars! Tell you what, we'll be right back. You're really damn very nice. You're wearing mascara? <laughs> Part of the costume, all right. I never insisted on mascara. Look, uh, <laughs> great touch, though, girls. Thank you. Um, look, uh, we, uh, we uh, mess around on this show, and, um, and we've done it tonight. But I want to take this uh, moment now to... Uh, uh, we're, uh, we're bidding farewell to our director, Brian McAloon, who has been directing this show uh, since Tom Snyder was doing it. He did it when Craig Kilborn was doing it. And he's been doing it for the eight years I've been doing it. I'm really sorry, man. He's, uh, <laughs> he's been working at the Worldwide Pants Company that produces this show for 32 years. And finally, he's got something better. Uh, it, it's, <laughs> so he's moving on. We'd like to uh, wish him all the best in his future endeavours. Brian, it's been a pleasure. Godspeed. Thanks a lot. Good night, everybody.